Okay, this one's on the flame rod. Now the flame rod is the most common flame sensing device we use in modern furnaces. And it works uh, by flame rectification. Flame can actually transmit power. So if I feed an alternating current into uh, the flame rod to the chassis or the burners, so when it's negative going to the flame rod, power is passing from the flame rod to the burners, and when it's negative on the burner chassis, then it's transferring from the burner to the flame rod. What that does is because the, the flame rod is so small compared to the size of the burners that more power passes from the burners to the flame rod uh, when the burners are negative than passes from the flame rod to the burners when the flame rod's negative. The end result of all this stu stuff is you end up with essentially a rectified current. It comes, starts out AC, comes back DC. Well, that eliminates things like, you know, uh, that thing being shorted to ground, a piece of trash on it, something like that, uh, that would short it to ground, because then you would get AC back. But in this way, you end up with DC coming back. And that's about the best explanation I can make of this thing. Uh, it's a really interesting way of uh, uh, doing flame safety. Uh, certainly they need to be clean and stuff like that or they don't get uh, good sensing. But that's how the flame rod works. Okay, now I'm got a jumper wire sitting here and I'm waiting for this thing to fire up. Now this jumper is hooked to the terminal there and it's going to be shorted out to the chassis when this thing lights and you can watch as this thing uh, safety's out. Okay, burners are on and I'm about ready to put that onto the ground. Okay, you can see it shut it off uh, almost immediately. And that's how the flame rod checks to see if you have a direct current coming through. Also, uh, flame rods can end up like this, where the ceramic is broken. Uh, this one actually did work, but it's not going to work long. For one thing, it just rotates all over the place. So. Uh, uh, if you have cracked ceramic on these things, certainly you're going to have to uh, replace the flame rod. And certainly when checking these out, you need to clean these with sandpaper or steel wool or something like that. It doesn't make too much difference what, but it do needs to be clean and tested with the, uh, with the microammeter. You can test these things with an ohmmeter, pull the wires off it and check to see if it's grounded. I've never found one grounded, so I don't much do that. But uh, anyway, that is the flame rod.